flexible payment design is based on the low distributing characteristics of a layered system. The payment structure is made up of several layers of materials. Each layer receives loads from the layer above, spreads them out and passes them onto the next layer. This reduces stress which are highest at the top layer and lowest at the top of the subgrade. Hello and welcome back to the Master Civil Engineering and in this video you will learn that how to design the a flexible payment if we know the CPR of the subgrade soil and the design traffic of the road using the IRC 37. I have been given a question which states that we have to design a new flexible payment for a two lane bypass using the following data. Initial traffic in the year of completion of construction is 310 cumulative vehicles per day. It is the sum of the both directions and the vehicle wise details are given in this table that is uh, heavy truck 3 axles these are 30 number heavy truck 2 axles these are 70 number many trucks are 120 numbers large bus are 60 numbers and bus are 30 numbers design cbr value of the subgrade is uh, 5 percent average traffic growth rate is 7 percent per year and design life of this flexible payment is 15 years First, uh, we will find the equivalent standard axles of the road. So, let's first find the equivalent standard axles. So, I have been given the vehicle type and the vehicle uh, number. That is, uh, heavy truck uh, 3 axles, these are 30 number. And vehicle damage factor for this heavy uh, truck 3 axle is 6.5. So, you have to multiply this number with vdf and you will get the equivalent standard axles per day for this vehicle type that is for heavy truck 3 axle we have to multiply 30 with 6.5 which is 195 will be the equivalent standard axles per day for this heavy truck 3 axle similarly for heavy truck uh, 2 axle its vdf is 4.75 so multiply 70 with 4.75 you will get 333 equivalent standard axles for heavy truck 2 axle for mini truck, equivalent standard axles will be 120 into vehicle damage factor for mini truck, which is 1, so it will be 120. For large bus, uh, equivalent standard axles will be 60 uh, number multiplied by vehicle damage factor of large bus, which is 0 0.5, so it will be 30 equivalent standard axles per day. For bus, it will be 30 into vehicle damage factor of bus which is 0 0.35 so it will be 30 into 0 0.35 which is 11 equivalent standard axles per day the total standard axles per day for this road will be the sum of these values so it will be equal to 689 equivalent standard axles per day so initial standard number of axles for this road this is equal to 689 equivalent standard axles per day after finding the uh, equivalent standard axles per day we will find the cumulative number of standard axles for this road so annual growth rate of the traffic is 7% or 0 0.07 per year design life of this uh, pay flexible payment is taken as 15 years lane distribution factor as per IRC recommendation for two lane undivided road this is equal to 0 0.75 Cumulative number of standard axles is given by this formula, which is 365 into 1 plus R raised power N minus 1 divided by R multiplied by A into F into D. A is the uh, initial traffic uh, in uh, in the year of uh, initial traffic, initial design traffic and F is the vehicle damage factor and D is the distribution factor. Putting values. So it is equal to 365, 1 plus 0 0.07 raised power 15 minus 1 divided by 0 0.07. And the value of A into F, we just calculated it to be 689. Okay, and the distribution factor is 0 0.75. So we get the value of cumulative number of standard axles equal to 4.74 million standard axles. After finding the cumulative standard uh, axles, we will use the payment design chart of the IRC 37 okay in which we have uh, on the horizontal axis design traffic in 
million standard axles and on the vertical axis we have total thickness of the pavement and there are curves for different CBR going from the CBR 2% to CBR of 10% and this uh, design chart is valid for uh, that is design traffic of 1 to 10 million standard axles only okay for 10 to 20 we have different uh, design chart so our design traffic came out to be 4.74 million standard axles which lies here on the horizontal axis so from this point you will draw a vertical line and see where it uh, cuts the cbr of five percent because the cbr value of our sub gate soil is five percent okay so we have to select the curve of cbr of five percent so it will cut the curve at some point from that point you will draw a horizontal line it will touch the vertical axis at some point and this point will be your uh, uh, design thickness of the pavement which in this case is 575 mm so our total thickness of the pavement with cbr of 5% and design traffic of 4.74 million standard axles is 575 mm okay after that uh, you will use the pavement design catalog of irc okay in which you can see uh, we have the columns for the cumulative traffic total payment thickness as well as the payment composition so you can see that for cumulative traffic of 5 million standard axles okay for cbr of 5% the total payment thickness is 580 mm and the payment composition uh, for the bituminous surfacing is that 50 mm of asphaltic concrete and this is for the wearing course the binder course is 50 mm dense butaminous magnum granular base is 150 mm and granular sub base is 330 mm so for our total payment thickness of 575 mm we will select the butaminous wearing course this will be of the asphalt concrete this is equal to 50 mm Butaminous binder course, this will be of the dense butaminous magnum. This will be also 50 mm. Base course, we will select it to be water bound magnum. Okay, WPM. This is equal to 150 mm. And the sub base, we will choose it to the granular sub base. Its CBR should not be less than 30%. And it consists of this crushed stone aggregates. Its thickness will be 325 mm. And if I show you the cross section of this payment so you can see the cross section of the payment 50 mm bearing course of asphaltic concrete 50 mm binder course of dense butaminous magnum 150 mm uh, of uh, granular based course consisting of water bound magnum and 325 mm of granular sub base consist of crushed stone aggregates uh, whose cbr should not be less than 30 percent okay so this is how we can find the we can design the flexible payment as well as find the composition of the each payment layer this video showed you how to design the flexible payment and find composition of each layer i hope this solution video was clear and effective and if you find this video helpful like this video subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends thanks for watching master civil engineering and stay tuned